I was like, yes, give me two hours where I don't have to go and look up stuff and write up stuff and research stuff and all that kind of stuff. All I have to do is have the material in my head and go down and put it on paper in a way that you can understand and ask your question. So, yeah. <laughs> episode i don't know what i'm doing but i'm here very nervous but also very excited because very happy to finally get this off the ground so quick introduction for those of you who don't know me which is probably most people um my name is mackenzie mc not mac mackenzie i am 20 years old i am Bajan by birth by everything i'm a regionalist at heart and yeah, this is my little channel, Unapologetically Unsophisticated, also known as Bougie Popdown, as my daddy would call it. Today, I'm coming to you from the lovely location of The Hope Wall, H-O-P-E, and I will tell you more about that in future episodes. Uh, so today's vlog is really going to be about something pretty big that happened in my life and the life of basically everybody else who went to school with me. Um, as of today, June 29th, like I got back my final set of results from university. I'm also a UBKFL student, yeah. Should mention that. So I just got back my final grades and your girl is set to graduate with first class honors, <laughs> which is something I'm quite excited about, something I'm very grateful for. Um honestly, the emotions are kind of all over the place because there was a lot of numbness at first because I didn't, I struggled a lot this semester. So dealing with that and, you know, COVID, lockdown and everything, it was kind of tough. So I just, I just really want to get into, I want to complain about a lot of the emotions that were going on and a lot of the feelings that were happening regarding finishing UE, finishing my degree, um, my last semester, how exams went, that kind of stuff. But yeah, today's gonna be pretty short because that's basically what it's about. So, I done my degree. How does it feel? I think now I have the grades back, I can feel free to actually acknowledge it in a way that I wasn't able to before. Because at first it was really I don't know when the exams finished when i sent in my last exam and everything i thought i would feel a sense of relief i thought i would feel a lot of pressure off myself i thought i would feel accomplished and the honest truth is that i didn't like, i spent the first couple of days after i sent in my last exam really tired really mentally exhausted i wasn't sleeping well wasn't eating well I'm pretty sure anybody that did exams during COVID this year would be able to tell you the scene that it, it, the exam period was rough for a lot of people. I had it especially bad. And I knew that my performance, my academic performance was lacking. I knew that I wasn't doing as well as I would be had we were, had we still be, had we still been in school and still having that environment and that structure and everything. And not having that, it really affected my grades because it really affected my mental health and like my level of motivation to do anything to do with school as well. So it, 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 it was hard. And it was hard to come to terms with that because I didn't feel like celebrating because I didn't feel like I had anything to celebrate because even before COVID happened, even be, well, not before COVID happened, even before lockdown happened and we had to leave school physically, like one of the things that really got to me was the fact that I saw a drop in my grades like even before we went to online learning so that was already demotivating because the two or two courses especially that I had a difficult time wrapping my head around in terms of not just the course content but the structure of the classes and that kind of stuff and I saw that being manifested in my grades on the assignment so that, that was a big blow that happened at first and then mental health is an doctor because when we came home from the lockdown 
like there was I, there was a lot a lot of anxiety in here because there weren't enough answers like people were all over the place everybody was panicking while the government was giving people information then you still had the supermarket rush lines and there was just a lot going on and dealing with that plus the possibility of possibly being sick because the week that I came home that I caught a cold so it was like what is this what is this it was it was it was really scary for a bit and I had to monitor my symptoms I seriously had to take some time and monitor my symptoms and make sure that I was like all right you know what this is a cold and this is not COVID and that kind of stuff because my exam season looked a lot like eating while well, attempting to eat if you have the time to eat getting an hour of sleep trying to convince myself to do work during the day say open at 10 o'clock say the exam opens at 10 o'clock in the morning trying to write and struggling to write and nothing coming to my head or like being baffled and that kind of stuff and then not being actually productive till like night time on the same night and that that was annoying but i realized the thing about the time that exams and that kind of stuff is that it was it was difficult to deal with the way I write because my my working hours when it comes to writing is between late night and early hours in the morning. So anywhere between like eleven o'clock and like four o'clock in the morning, that's when my thoughts flow best. So having to do with these time constraints and word limits and that kind of stuff, it was difficult. And then people were saying, oh, but if you had, if you had this, this, that sounds you only got two hours. And yes, I was like, yes, give me two hours where I don't have to go and look up stuff and write up stuff and research stuff and all that kind of stuff. All I have to do is have the material in my head and go down and put it on paper in a way that you can understand and ask your question. So yeah, at some point it was so stressful. Like I, I cried for like two or three days at times. But after I handed it, I cried because it was so stressed out. And because you can't sleep, you can't eat nothing, so because you need all the time to do all of these essays. And that's the thing, I hear essays already. So that was that was difficult as well. And then it just felt really unfulfilling when it was done. Because it didn't feel it didn't feel like a victory. It didn't feel like I accomplished anything. I just felt stressed. I just knew that I was dog tired. I just knew that I felt like this is not how I wanted my my last semester to end. This is not how my three years at U was supposed to end. I missed my friends. I missed my classmates. I missed being able to get out and walk out of the lecture class to go and buy a party from, from Campus Mart and come back. Like I missed the social aspects of school. I missed, I missed like going on. I just missed the social aspects of school, honestly, because I didn't realize how much, for somebody who hates a lot of red tape and a lot of, rules and all that kind of stuff i didn't realize that i i needed structure i needed like people as much as i do so this last semester was really a wake up call for me in that regard because i struggled a lot and when i saw my grades today i was like you know what they could have been worse and they could have been better but under these circumstances and giving myself a fair shot and a fair analysis of the situation, I know that I did what I could. And that was the important part for me. So for me, while it's not how I wanted to finish, because it kind of ruined the streak I had going, you know. But I'm I'm satisfied and I think that that is what is important, being satisfied. One of the things that like really hit me hard in terms of like putting it in perspective and that I would not necessarily like feel the joy and the celebration and jubilation of you know finishing the degree was I was talking to her. she's basically my big sister. But oh the video if you watch it is hi but yeah so one of the things she was uh, telling me was that I had a lot of adrenaline left over, I had a lot of emotions left over and everything that was going on in my head so she was like give yourself some time you can feel it we can celebrate that kind of stuff and over time like over the last week or so i've been able to start feeling like you know i accomplished something that i can move on to the next stage of my life that i can celebrate it for what it was worth uh so yeah that's where i am right now and then like get him at my grades like there's closure now so now that I have closure, I can, you know, 
not breathe easy, but I know that I can shut the door to this chapter of my life without regrets. Would I say completely without regrets? Not necessarily, because there are things that I would that I would do differently if I could. But at the same time, I feel like, you know what? You did your three years, you did your time, you worked hard, you pushed hard. There were moments that you couldn't give up, but you stuck to it and you finished. And yeah, I think that is an achievement in and of itself. I think finishing, like completing something is an achievement. But that's one of the things I've always struggled with throughout my life. Finishing. So like, actually finishing this is an accomplishment in and of itself and I can give myself a good pat on the back and I can give myself a credit when I feel like I am up to it but I will say that I don't regret Yui at all there were other options but I'm, I'm glad I went I'm glad that I chose to stay in Barbados I'm glad that I decided to pursue my degree at the UE I'm glad I had a West Indian centric education Yes, you still had like influences from other courses in other parts of the world, but there's something very grounding about having a St. Lucian lecturer, a Grenadian lecturer, uh, a Nigerian lecturer, yeah, a Kenyan lecturer. Like having all of these different influences from all parts, all different parts of the world, going to school with different classmates, from the Belize trio to the twins to my friends from secondary school, like. Having the diversity of the Cape Hill campus was it, it was good and that made the experience all the all the better. Are there moments that I wish they had spent a little more time socializing? Yeah. Because I was like, you know what? I can miss these people. But it is what it is. And I'm grateful for the experience. Honestly, very, very grateful for the experience. <laughs> yeah, just thinking about it like we didn't really get to say goodbye the way we wanted to say goodbye either. <laughs> so it's like... No tears though. We're gonna be good. Shout out to my class. Everybody in my degree program. We get through. We done, man. So, the question for me now is what next? Like, my plan is to go straight into my master's. I want to do research master's. But the problem is not what am I going to do my thesis on later. I have too much dilemma. I have too much choice dilemma when it comes to what, I'm, what I could possibly do my thesis on. But I'm getting closer to an answer than I was, which is what is important. So now that I have time on my hands, now that, you know, COVID's still got the place mess up. So getting a job isn't looking very likely, but it's given me time to find the other aspects of myself, like the creative side of myself, getting back to film, getting back to designing getting back to writing actually so that has been very liberating very freeing and it's given me a lot of time to think about other opportunities that i have other opportunities to grow other opportunities to find things i like to do and develop myself as a person outside of the academic realm while getting ready to you know figure out what i'm gonna do with my studies so it, it has been quite it's been quite liberating in the days since now that i'm back to myself and finding my way back to being in like a state of satisfaction and contentment I feel like yeah. I'm more ready to you know have fun and go places and drink bro and eat food because that's all I've wanted to do the whole semester and finally finally I can do them without guilt I haven't to care about it now so I'm happy bad happy happy bad <laughs> So yeah, yeah, this got very long, this got very rambly, I hope it made sense, but yeah, that's been basically my little reflection on my degree. I thought this would have been longer, <laughs> shorter actually, I actually thought this would have been shorter, but yeah, I, in a nutshell, it's been an interesting three years, but not a three years that I would say that I'm regretting. I think everything in life happens for a reason. I still think that, you know, being put in this position where I had to adjust to a whole pandemic and that kind of stuff, I still think that taught me something. I still yet to figure out what it taught me, but I think everything happens for a reason. And I think there was a lot of growth that came out of this semester, a lot of growth that came out of this degree. I think I'm a, a better person for it. 
and I get a little bit closer to you know figuring out what going on in here and I'm still a mess a glorified mess so guess what I'm a degree mess I'm a degree mess I will call me mess BSC so yeah <laughs> Thank you guys for watching my first video. It was messy, but I hope it was relatable. I hope that that for anybody else who finished like me, that you can take it for what it's worth. Give yourself the credit where it was due and don't be hard on yourself because it can be it can be difficult when you don't meet up to the expectations that you wanted or the expectations that other people had for you. But the important thing is at the end of the day that you you push past. Well, not necessarily push past the disappointment, but like that you're honest with yourself and that when you can find a place of contentment, like that, that's, that's all you need. And there will be other things in life. There will be other battles to win or lose. There'll be other lessons to learn. And the most important thing I've learned the last couple of weeks is that a win is not always going to feel like a win. You ain't gonna always feel like this great, wonderful victory that you were in the boat saying, oh my gosh, I win no it doesn't always feel like that because I, I can testify that it does not always feel like that but it is a win nonetheless so when you when you drew credit give yourself the credit that you drew give jackie jacket and yeah so when you know that you you beat odds and you went against a whole pandemic and you passed this semester and you finished your degree i care what class you get it you finish and finishing in and of itself is a win so give yourself a coffee back and give yourself a break. Breathe, have a beer, drink some rum, eat some chicken, have some chafet, drive boat, do things. Enjoy yourself, live your life because we deserve it. We finish and we deserve it. <sighs> yes, that wraps up episode one of Unapologetically Unsophisticated, otherwise known as Bougie Pop Dumb. So, <laughs> Yeah, if you enjoyed it, make sure to like, leave a comment, subscribe this so and hit the little bell for notifications. Um, I'm also on social media on Instagram and Facebook. The whole team is there. More content is coming soon. And yes, I'm just very excited. So yeah, see y'all next time. On a side note. Today's side note goes to Here's Kiwi on Instagram. This is Kiana's little business page. She does her hair do, her hair did. Price list is available. Styles are, are available. She's very, very talented, very excited. And she's also launching her YouTube channel soon. So be sure to check out for that. Follow her on Instagram at Here's Kiwi. And yeah, give her lots of support.